Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Father, we praise you today, and we worship you, and we give you honor and thanksgiving for this broadcast today. We open our hearts, we open our minds for revelation from heaven, and we give you all the honor and the praise for everything that's said and everything that's done on this broadcast today. There will be many, many, many people all over the, the uh, everywhere the sound of my voice is being heard today that will be healed miraculously. And there will be many that will have situations in their lives suddenly straightened out today. I heard you say that. And so we want to give you praise for it right now, sir, and give you much worship and honor and the glory to the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Just as I started praying, I heard the Lord say that. So praise God, receive your healing. How do you do that? Well, we've been talking about it now all last week. And, and, and then this week also, Jesus said, whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, when you pray, that's when you start believing. How do you start believing? You believe it in your heart and you say it with your mouth. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. I believe I receive healing. Or better, better way is, I believe I receive my healing. And go through the Bible. All of the healing scriptures belong to you. Every one of them belong to you. And you go there and look it up, for instance, under the curse of the law. Deuteronomy 28, 22, fever, inflammation, consumption, or tuberculosis. All three are named in that verse as being under the curse of the law. Galatians 3, 13 says, I've been redeemed from the curse of inflammation, the curse of tuberculosis, and the, cur the curse of fever. I've been redeemed from it in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I want to thank you I want to thank you that I believe your word. I want to thank you that that belongs to me because Jesus is mine and I belong to him. And so I believe I receive my healing from inflammation. Any inflammation in my body, any kind of disease that's fired up inflammation in my body, I believe I receive healing for inflammation. I believe I receive healing for fever. I believe I receive healing for consumption or tuberculosis or any other kind of lung disease. I believe I receive it, and I thank you for it. I believe I receive it. I thank you for it. Now, let's take that <clears throat> situation there with inflammation. I believe I receive my healing from inflammation in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, and I forgive if I have ought against any. And I thank you by faith. I say it. The inflammation is gone, and I praise you. Yeah, but Brother Copeland, I still feel it. Well, see, you what we're doing will change and it'll change it. And as it changes, the feelings change because the spiritual, uh, the spiritual power of faith in your spirit is being ministered from your spirit into your body and is removing inflammation. I believe I receive it. Now, you, <clears throat> as you begin this, Remember, you have the measure of faith. I just don't have any faith. Yes, you do. You read Romans 12, 3 again. And you go back and read Ephesians uh, 2, 8. And you go back and read Romans 10, 17. Praise God, you have it. You, either that or you're not saved. Oh, Brother Copeland, I know, you know, I know I'm born again. I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost. Well, you've got faith. You couldn't have got there without it. It is the gift of God. Praise God, not of yourself. So, 
you begin, if that's where you are right now, then that's where you need to start. I believe faith is working in me now. I believe I receive my faith growing. See, you're using faith to grow faith. I receive it. I'm strong in faith. Glory to God. I believe I receive strength in my faith. I believe it. I receive it. I am strong, therefore, in faith. See, that's your faith speaking. You have that measure of faith. Now, 2 Thessalonians 1, 3, the, uh, the apostle Paul said to the church there at Thessalonica, he said, your faith grows exceedingly. So now, how does faith grow? It, it grows by feeding it on the Word of God. Matthew 4, 4, Jesus said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So the Word of God is to your spirit man, your inner man, what physical food is to this natural man. Now, I want to say this, you know, you can, you can just feed this natural man on junk all the time, and, and you can't keep the thing well. I mean, and then it just starts showing up, bad food and the wrong stuff. You can get a hold of stuff that kill you, man. Well, the same thing's true with your spirit, man. It, the Word of God is life unto them that find Him. The Word, faith come of a hearing, hearing by the Word of God, not religion, the Word of God, the Word of faith, the Word of love, the Word of joy, glory to God. Amen. So start feeding on it every day, day in, day out, every day, every day feeding your faith, every day feeding on healing, feeding on the prosperity promises of financial situations you're, you're facing. Faith works the same. You believe it in your heart, you say it with your mouth. I want to thank you. Praise God. I believe I receive my financial miracle today. Well, how much, uh, you know, how much you believing for? Well, you know, all I can get. Well, that ain't any good. You, you need to take the time and, and get before the Lord. Find out what His desire is in your life, where you need to be going financially. You need to be increasing financially. Don't just sit around and just take what you, what you can get. No, 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 no. Now, you're feeding your faith on the Word. Go back and get these broadcasts. Feed on them. Watch them over and over and over and over again. And then give it a rest for a couple of days and then go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. Look up all these scriptures, praise God, and begin to confess, I'm a new creature. I have the measure of faith that God has given me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm a new creature and I'm strong in the Lord. See, you're feeding your faith. You keep feeding your faith. You keep saying it with your mouth because you believe it in your heart. Don't get sidetracked by your feelings and start saying something else. Just before I, <clears throat> well, I was getting dressed this morning and Gloria walked in and said, you teaching on faith again today? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, don't say anything that you don't want to come to pass. I said, yeah, that's good. She said, that's just coming across my, my, my spirit and across my mind. Don't say anything that you don't want to come to pass because you have what you say. That's the way the system is built. That's the way it works. So, well, it just doesn't work for me. Oh, so that's what you want to come to pass? Mm-hmm. Well, if you say so. No, no, Brother Goldberg. No, that's not what it, well, don't say that. Put the Word of God in your heart, in your mouth, in your eyes, in your ears, and keep putting it in there, keep putting it in there, keep putting it in there, and keep putting it in there until it begins to come out your mouth with you having to think about it. I'm going to say that again. Keep feeding on the Word. Keep putting it in there. Keep putting it in your eyes, putting it in your ears. Go to Proverbs 4, 20, 21, 22, and it'll tell you exactly the process for receiving. Incline thine ear and uh, attend to my word. Put the word of God first place. 
Incline thine ear unto my sayings. What it says is right and not what you thought or felt. Don't let them depart from your eyes. You keep feeding it, you're putting your eyes on. Begin to see yourself healed. Begin to see yourself with it. Begin to see yourself prospering. Begin to see yourself strong in faith. Amen. That's the way you do it. You, but you, well, now this, I'm telling you, this, this lemonade that I've got here, this is good for me. I believe in that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's, that's good right there. That's good for you. That's good. I believe in that. Now see, that, that could be something that the, that the doctor told you and you said it right there by your bedside. I got it. It ain't going to do any good. You got to get it in you. Well, that's the same thing with the Word of God. And it says, protect your heart with all diligence for out of it flow the forces of the issues of life. There are health to all that find them and medicine to all their flesh. God's words are health. God's words are literally medicine to your flesh. But like the prescription, you have to get it in the system for it to do any good. So that's where you feed it. You, you feed on it all the time. You don't take two or three days off and just feed on a bunch of junk, just, just pure bunk. It, it'll, it, it'll do the same thing that, that bad food does to your physical body. Amen. So now then, let's go back over to 1 John. Well, we're not done with that. Thank you, Father. Stay in a place of receiving. Stay on the God side of everything. God's on your side. He's not doing in Now, the devil will come along and tell you he doesn't care anything about you, but he's a liar from the start. Amen. So stay on the God side of everything. Don't start talking crosswise uh, uh, about your faith. Well, my faith is so weak. Well, no, 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 no. Don't be doing that. You don't be saying things that you don't desire to come to pass. Say those things that you desire to take place and continue to say them. Feed on the Word and continue to say it. Feed on the Word and continue to say it. Praise God. Just continue to say it. Amen. Continue to say it. Continue to say it. Feed on healing scriptures. It'll keep you well. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Now, 1 John chapter 4, and let's begin reading again with the 16th verse. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect. Now, that word perfect, it, it, it talking about developing, talking about maturing, talking about being in constant state of growth and, and exercising it. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as He is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love. Well, of course not. God is love. Isn't that what that said? God is love. But perfected love, developing, growing, uh, practicing love, casts out fear. As you begin to speak love words, as you begin to renew your mind on the love of God, as you begin to grow in the Spirit, as these things, your, your spirit begins to fill up with these things, then the fear that was in there, that, that's carnal stuff. That, that, that's not, it, it operates in the same um, envelope, the same spiritual envelope as faith. It is a spiritual force, but it is 100% weak. 
I'll tell you what, it is so easy to get rid of fear when you fill up on the Word of God, you fill up on the love of God, you begin to confess it, I refuse to fear. Glory to God, I rebuke you, spirit of fear. I'm not, I am not connected with you, and I love my neighbor as myself. I love my God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength. I love the brethren even as he loves the brethren, and glory to God, I walk in his stature, and I do those things things that are pleasing in his sight, and he fulfills the length of my days and takes sickness from the midst of me. <laughs> I mean, it just, and fear just, just collapses in the middle of all that. Amen. Now, there is no fear in love. Perfected love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that fears is not made perfect He's not been developing the love of God because if you're majoring on love, then when fear presents itself, love just rises up and just, just hammers it. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. All of these things are done by faith, but faith worketh by love. So you're using your faith to develop your love and you're using the love that's been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost in developing your faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. So one is working in developing the other. But you got to watch this thing. It's all what you believe in your heart and say with your mouth is what's coming to pass. Amen. I mean, that's, that's the way the system works. Last week we went through, we went through a whole that we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We 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 uh, went through seventeen scriptures on the power of words. In, in the twelfth uh, chapter of the book of Matthew, Jesus said, "Praise God." You are justified. You'll stand judgment for every idle word. You are justified by your words, and you are condemned by your words. Look at that. All judgment happens right here. Amen. And well, we don't take time to go through all that again, but like Job 3.10 said, let the weak say I'm weak, I'm so tired, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, no, no. It said, let the weak say I'm strong. This is a word created. Now listen to me. We're, we're going we're to get something right here. You've heard me say this part before. This is a word created, word dominated, word controlled environment in which we live. Now, you can't change that. You can't change the fact that we live in a Word created, a Word controlled, a Word uh, <laughs> dominated environment. You can't change that, but you can choose the words under which you are ruled. You can't change the fact that it's words, but you have the authority to change the words that dominate and rule your life. Amen. Now, let me add this to it. In the beginning, God said, light be, light was. That's the way he brought everything into existence. Back up. In the beginning, love said. So let me put it like this. We live in a love word created, a love word controlled, a love word dominated environment. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Yeah, but wait a minute. In the beginning was the word. 
The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Wait a minute. Back, back, back up. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with love, and the Word was love. Glory to God. The word of love brought it all into existence. It is the word of love that's, that's upholding it all today. So if you will get the word of God and the love of God developed inside your inner man and renew your mind to think like that and to, to talk like that and act like that, I want you to know there's nothing on this earth that can defeat you because love never fails. It may look like it's all going to fail and go down the tube, but go rid of God. If I go down the drain, I want you to know something that's going down under me. This word of God and the love of God who is love, who is God, is going to have to go down that same drain because I'm, I'm standing on him. I'm standing with him. I'm standing with... Uh, 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 hallelujah. Whoo! Glory to God. Well, I'll be back in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.